Welcome to this session about Wikisud Italia. I'm uh, Léa Lacroix, I'm not Italian, I'm French, but I moved to Sicily um, two years ago and I'm here with the one and only Ferdinando, who's coming from Puglia, which we also put um, on the map. And we are going to talk about how to um, create an active Wikimedia community in a region um, that has specific context with some uh, challenges. So let's start with uh, speaking a little bit about the context. So, um, Southern Italy has always been, unfortunately, a, a region with uh, huge uh, economical divides uh, compared to North of Italy and systemic issues. So, for example, problems with bureaucracy, uh, lack of funding, uh, lack of economical development, and Thus, this leading to people migrating elsewhere, for example, in northern Italy. This especially happened in the 70s. And uh, so there is brain drain because if the best students, the best minds go to work elsewhere and go to study elsewhere, they are not available in the region to promote and foster economical development, which is strongly connected to cultural development. And these um, led uh, to a evident difference in the number of contributors uh, between, for example, north of Italy and south of Italy. Uh, for example, in Lombardy, there are around more than 100 contributors uh, who are very active and they are available for organizing activities and they have always been available for organizing activities on, uh, you know, offline. While in South Italy, uh, for example, in Apulia, we are only between 10, 20, 30 people. And uh, that has been a problem uh, because uh, you, if you don't, you don't have contributors, you cannot reach GLAM institutions. And GLAM institutions, if they don't have funding and personnel to guarantee ordinary operations like opening, closing, and uh, so on. They don't have uh, the, the, the capacity to organize wiki activities, so they say no at the moment. I have the example of the local library, in, in the, the national library in my town, who said, no, we cannot organize week activities, even if we would like to, because we don't have the personnel to guarantee, you know, normal operations and to, to make people able to uh, borrow books from the library, so we, we cannot dedicate ourselves to week activities. And all of this uh, definitely leads to a um, reduced uh, quality and quantity on content, of content about the region because people tend to write more uh, about the region they are in. So uh, you have complete coverage uh, about Lombardy on Wiki, Wikimedia projects in Italian language, but you have a reduced uh, coverage about southern of Italy, uh, especially the regions in which uh, there are not active groups. So um, when I started organizing activity in Apulia um, in 2017-2018, uh, I had to create the community because there was no active community of people working uh, on Wikimedia projects. There were users, uh, even very skilled users, but there was no local community uh, as there was in other regions. So I had to start to contact people, find them to Wikipedia pages, find people who worked on local articles, and we started to go a little community. We started to organize all offline uh, things. We have been organizing Wikilos monuments in Apulia since 2019 with very good results. Pier Paolo is, <laughs> is coming at the moment. He is, for example, one of the a Wikipedia administrator who was active uh, online, who has been active for a very long time, and then he entered in the local offline groups and he started participating and he's very active also in offline activities. So when you give the, the people a possibility to, to do so. And uh, then efforts were made by Lea in, in Sicily with um, with the, the, the creation of, of a local group there, and it's going very well. And uh, there have been regions 
in which some events has, have been organized, for example, Calabria, but there is still no local community there. So they had this spot event in Calabria two years ago, but basically at the moment I cannot say we have a local coordinator or we have a local group active in Calabria. So there are regions uh, in which there are literally no active groups. So maybe there are of, of online contributors. We don't know them and we don't know that they are from that region. So we cannot foster and support the creation of local groups and thus the creation of uh, attractiveness also for other people to join the groups if we don't know them. So last year we took the opportunity that the Italian speaking Wikicon was organized uh, in Bari, in Apulia, so in the south, um, to have a first session of discussion about it, to kind of brainstorm together with the community around a few questions about the specific challenges that um, our regions are facing, uh, but also what are the strengths that we could um, use, and um, generally about uh, what we could do to increase both the activities and the the creation of content um, in southern Italy. Um, you can go and check the slides if you're interested. Um, there are the, there's the result of the brainstorming. It's in Italian only, unfortunately. And from there, basically, that's the moment where we start this um, informal group um, that we called Wiki Sud, Wiki South Italy, basically. Um, and then we started um, our activities to connect a little bit the contributors from the various regions of the south. Um, so here's the things that we started doing in less than one year of existence of this group. So we started with um, monthly online meetups. They are online because we are in different regions. We can't obviously uh, meet on site all the time. Um, we are sharing updates about what we are doing uh, during these uh, meetings. Um, and we're trying to share knowledge and experience. For example, the group in Apulia is experienced already in how to organize Wikilove monuments. Um, and other types of campaigns, and we trying to learn from this. Um, we also developed um, a visual identity that will be has been useful already to like communicate about what we're doing, ask for funding, and so on. Um, we've been organizing events together. This thing was really nice because uh, we organized, for example, a side event of the Wikimedia Hackathon this year in Catania, Sicily. Uh, but Ferdinando and the other people from Apulia were always there, also there, and we organized it together. Um, one thing that we're trying to do is actively looking for editors from these regions because we're pretty sure that they are there on Wikipedia, but they are not necessarily identified as such because no one forces you to write where you are from on Wikipedia, which is a really good thing. But then we need to actively go and look for them. Um, and finally, uh, we're trying to find resources uh, to work on our project and that goes through uh, requesting grants either from Wikimedia affiliates or other institutions to try to get these projects um, really going. So now we have talked about the challenges we have faced and we are still facing. Uh, but we have also some ideas for the future. These are um, some of the ideas we would like to implement uh, as Wikisud, so in both our regions and then also to extend it to the other regions which are not covered. Uh, but then we will open the floor for discussion and try to gather some other ideas on how to um, in improve and increase the community also in that area. So for example, we would like to run communication campaigns to find more editors in the southern regions, also maybe using the central notice and uh, to have editing campaigns with uh, specific topics, for example, uh, regional gastronomy, so food, uh, regional history, or local heritage, uh, we would like to have Wikilove monuments in more than uh, more regions because in Italy we have regional contests of Wikilove monuments, and we would like to extend those contests to every region of southern Italy, but also with other campaigns like Wikilove site, which we organized uh, in Apulia for we had the, the fir for the first time a regional contest of Wikilove Earth in Italy, and we had it in Apulia with pretty good results, uh, and it, for it was the first region. Uh, like the, Apulia made 30-35% of all the participants of Wikilove's in Italy. 
and then we would like to continue running uh, presentations, to have training sessions, uh, to engage people on Wikimedia projects, uh, editathons, and local events who could, which could attract new contributors and, um, and work on the de development on the, of the existing community and on, on bonding between members of the, the, the existing communities and engage with people coming on vacation or visiting their family or maybe uh, people who are from the south of Italy but live elsewhere to work online on, on content about uh, region of southern Italy to improve coverage and uh, that are just some of the ideas we we already have but uh, we would like now to to collect more there are even even more more ideas so for example um, the possibility to uh, in increase the number of the events that are hosted in uh, in our regions. Uh, for example, uh, there is a bid for the, the it, it Wikicon uh, in Sicily in 2025, but uh, we, we had the hackathon, but we, we would plan to have more and more events in the southern of Italy, also because uh, it's uh, a region which in the past was not uh, visited by such events, so uh, now it's time to spread the things more uh, around Italy and not just concentrate on the on north. Uh, giving visibility to um, active editors, uh, first of all, by mapping them, which is, I think, we, we are doing, we are trying to do in our regions. And then maybe uh, as Wikimedia Italy, as a structure of local coordinators for region, we would like to increase the number of local coordinators in southern Italy. So we have now Apulia, pretty well covered, but we are still lacking the other regions. We need to create network bridges with uh, active local institutions um, and local organizations that could bring um, useful partnerships uh, to increase the number of people working on our projects, but also to increase awareness uh, and so uh, non-profit organizations, we work really well with photography clubs in Apulia to organize Wikilos monuments. Uh, and we work really well with the university, but uh, it's a thing that still needs to spread all over other, the other regions of southern Italy. And now we would like to get uh, inspired uh, by ideas and mythos also right now if we can get some other useful ideas for, uh, for the future. Absolutely. So we presented to you in a few minutes what is the context of southern Italy, but we are fully aware that our situation is actually a pretty common situation um, everywhere uh, in the world where people are trying to create or keep communities active. Um, and so what we're proposing to do now is to take like eight, ten minutes, I think we have the time, which is fantastic, to run a little bit of a brainstorming session. And the question we have for you is like, do you have from your experience or maybe something you heard um, any ideas on how to activate how to boost um, the Wikimedia community and also collaboration with institutions um, in regions uh, despite economic and uh, structural barriers so we're gonna do it a little bit like popcorn style just sharing ideas not necessarily going super in detail about each idea and in order to do that we're gonna need to pass the microphone around because we want to make sure that people who uh, watch online and the interpreters can record this so we're gonna raise hands and pass the microphone can you we have i think we had a first hand raised here Uh, I really, really want to support the idea of uh, moving, uh, going to uh, an underrepresented region for an event, like a con or a meetup of some kind, so that you invite the people from the majority region or the, the overrepresented region to, to travel. So I really like the idea of having a Wikicon in Bari in southern Italy and the northerners all take the train and go there to, to give the south more visibility. Yeah. Even if there is the reverse problem that's uh, it happens that when you organize these kind of events in southern Italy, less people from the north decide to move. So, for example, in Bari we had like 60 participants, while these events sees around 80 participants. So, Hi, uh, I'm Tony Sant from uh, Wikimedia Malta. 
So uh, the idea is, uh, well, uh, there is a substantial uh, Italian population in Malta. Uh, historically, Malta was part of the Kingdom of Sicily, of course. We uh, speak a modern version of Siculo Arabo. Uh, and so I think you will find um, little resistance from at least half the population of Malta, if you include Malta and Sud Italia. <laughs> Uh, we, we have uh, one or two very active uh, Italian members, even in our community. And so, uh, aside from the language, um, of course, question uh, here is the subject matter. Of course, you know, I mean, there are, there are uh, some, some uh, towns, small towns and villages in Malta where you could very well be in Sicily or even in some back street in Naples. Uh, and, uh, you know, or anyway. So, so it's, it's, the affinity is clearly there. Uh, that is uh, one idea that I bring to you from the community of Malta, and this is, a, this is an open invitation for collaboration. We have already started exploring something similar with our colleagues in Morocco. So Wikimedia Morocco, the, the interest there is linguistic. Of course, because the Arabo in, in the Siculo Arabo is is, uh, is very uh, similar to the Rija, which is the the, the colloquial uh, Moroccan in this case. So anyway, I just thought I'd mention that because then, in a longer term, one of the ideas that uh, with our Moroccan colleagues we have been looking at is a is a wiki Mediterranean uh, idea. But perhaps this is a little too ambitious. But uh, talk about we should explore ambitious ideas yes, yes, because yes, otherwise. Yes. Yes, but, but you know, I mean, so, so again, I, I, in relation to what you're presenting, yes, the, the, the economic and structural barriers are there, especially in the Maghreb, uh, in this case, for, for a Euro-Mediterranean kind of, uh, you know, uh, 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 perspective. Absolutely. Thank you. Let's keep talking about this after the session. Awesome. Yeah, we, we should include them in the Wikisode group, mm -hmm. Telegram chats. We you're way welcome. <laughs> Which one? Okay, next. Yeah, so building a little bit on what Tony said, I was curious about whether sort of local languages or dialects would be a motivating um, area of interest for people in the South. So, um, do you want, do you want? so um, there are Wikipedias in both Neapolitan then we have also Wikipedia in Tarantino, which is not a language recognized by ISO, but it's, it was created before we used to, to, to accept only local, local codes. So it's a, a town near my, my hometown, Bari. It's another province of Apulia, Taranto, and they have this Wikipedia in, in this dialect. And there is Wikipedia in Sicilian. And I feel that it's a, an area where, that we should explore and uh, Giovanni is already working in Sicilian and... Yes, uh, I'm Giovanni, I'm from Catania, Sicily. And I'm quite a bit active also in uh, Wikipedia in uh, Sicilian. Uh, actually, uh, the Sicilian is recognized as a language, not as a dialect. And it recognized difference from Catania, Palermo, some other minority in, the re in our region, but also in part of Calabria. That was uh, that. That's like the the last region in the south of it. And uh, also some Apulian dialects. Yes, actually. of the of the southernmost part of Apulia are recognized as part of Sicilian, while the other part of Apulia speaks Neapolitan. Similarity <laughs> uh, from the uh, language uh, aspect, but actually it's based on the um, maybe dialect in Sicily because uh, older people. Uh, are used to talk uh, in Sicilian and someone recognized it as a language and we have like uh, Academia Siciliana that studied the language, the, the, the rules and whatever, but maybe um, um, one 50 years old think that the older people just talk to dialect and it's not like not worth thinking about it, but it depends uh, for from the heritage, from the culture, and whatever f in, in the region. There's a lot of difference, a lot of things that we could uh, also use for Wikipedia and Wikimedia project. 
and maybe with the diaspora in particular who are more likely to maybe speak um, local languages or dialect, but they're older. <laughs> no, I, I think that once they are out, <laughs> they start to lose the, um, the link to the local to the local language. And we are doing the same thing in Apulia. We are partnering with uh, a local institution uh, for the protection of dialect, trying to import some content on Wikisource, poetry on Wikisource, some historical images on Wiki, Wikimedia Commons, and have the articles about the poets in, in Wikipedia. More comments. OK, we have some more around here. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Hello everyone, Lucien from Wikimedia Tunisia. Well, uh, I think that the situation of South Italia is quite particular. If we take Italy and with it Tunisia, there is a spectrum of human development there. And there is the north of Italy with better human development than the south of Italy and the north of Tunisia, than the south of Tunisia with the lowest human development. And, and this is probably why the state, if I may say, <laughs> is not interested in developing the region that much. Because there, there were some bad incidents in the 90s of the 20th century related to Capacci and all the stuff. And in, a, in another way, if they develop that region, probably some greedy clandestine immigrants will go there. And they, they do not want this headache. So. Pro probably, considering this, probably your uh, mission in convincing institutional for, to ask for institutional support from governmental uh, kind of uh, organizations might be very difficult. What do you think about that? So, um, <laughs> the, the lack of development of southern Italy is a very complex problem with a lot of factors blending in. Uh, there have been a lot, a lot of investments uh, since the 70s to, to today that may have worked and may have not worked. A lot of money that was used sometimes for the best, sometimes <laughs> was, was not used very well. And uh, I, I don't think there is the lack of willingness for development from the central government, but there are a lot of factors that have hindered historically and still in the criminality is one of the factors. Uh, and um, now, now less in, in some areas, more in, in some other areas. So there, there are, it's, it's a really complex uh, and, and historical problem. So I don't think as Wikimedians we have the, the power to, to do something about that, but we can culturally uh, do something to at least improve, improve the cultural situation. But actually also from Wikilovs Puglia and other activities that you had, you have the opportunity to work with... Uh, with uh, yeah, we worked very well with institutions and we were very well received in Apulia by ins institutions. And uh, but there is a lot of European money being spent. So it's, it's not a problem of money, it's the problem of how money is spent. And... What did you right. uh, just I wanted to say that I think we can take the last two comments and then we will have to conclude. Yeah. Uh, so um, I'm from Wikipedia Switzerland. We have the same problem of the different languages, like you in between North and South. And I think there's also when you live in a place, so you have a climate, you have a you have a, a special. Um, way to be and uh, have of interest. So in Switzerland, we also have in the different parts different interests or different kind to to manage something. And I suggest that um, that you uh, the concentration on the south with the themes and the hobbies you have they keep together. It's like a culture, and maybe then then you are the. Yeah, and then you have the speciality, the speciality of the South that you can then share with the North and this will be like an um, important or a connection, the intercultural... Um, Exchange between yes. the, the two. I think to concentrate really on the own, own things you have and hobbies and way to we. Like food was suggesting, Leah. Yes, like food or dialects, it's very different <laughs> now, it's, yeah. 
Thank you. Um, uh, the way I use um, Wikipedia is also to um, say that we are developing skills for people, and especially in uh, economic um, problematic context, any type of skills that people add to their CV by, may lead into them getting better jobs. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe that's because of the region, because of diversity of population that you have in the region, uh, maybe Wikipedia, uh, Wikimedia community can be a very diverse community that works with Italian but also with other languages. The basic of Wikimedia is the same in all the languages and you're using Italian to talk about it, but then they can add it in other language Wikipedias and then that can do, do go then translations about their culture into Italian and from Italian into their culture. And that way you kind of diversify your community and people develop skills that can be useful for them um, in the future. So that's a different way of looking at developing community based on the needs of the community. Um, that's some, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of our insights. We're already at the end of our session, so we're gonna have to conclude there. But um, you can reach out to us if you have any question, if you want to continue this discussion. We have a page on Meta um, that is uh, in Italian. We have a Telegram group that we, you can join. Um, and if you want to support our proposal to organize the Italian-speaking Wikicon uh, next year in Sicily, you're very welcome to add your signature there. You will also find our details here and... I have no, I, I have I have some. You have some? Yes. If if it's fine for you that we do this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, cool. Um and then just to uh conclude uh, this session and maybe have some more discussions outdoors while the program continues, we brought some uh, sweets from you from southern Italy so we can share together. Thank you so much for attending. See you around. <laughs>